in art, we're always looking for the timeless and the, um, the, the eternally contemporary. And we feel that this piece from, from uh, South Arabia, um, which dates to the f about the 3rd to 1st century BC, um, has that timeless quality. When you don't know about this, this South Arabian culture, you really have no idea where it's from. This is a piece that we, we can trace back um, to a family uh, in 1970. We have a proof, proof of that. And then it came to Belgium, um, to a Belgian collection in 1990. It's a piece that was found in, in, um, in the Kataban area, in the cemeteries. And it was part of the, of the cult of, um, of the cemetery as it was set into to a wall holding the secret of the deaf. And um, it's interesting that in about a little bit more than 2,000 years ago, they were able to create an image that's appealing so much to, to our uh, current aesthetic. I have memories about all my life being in, being in Rafa as a toddler. Um, so it's more than 40 years now. Over the years, we've, we've evolved as, a, as art dealers. And uh, today, we specialize in um, the field of, of archaeological pieces of furniture with a specialty also on 20th century design, which we'll show at the fair, and uh, uh, post-war and contemporary uh, art. Those are the fields where we're the most active, but our spectrum is, is quite broad. Um, but then that's also why we enjoy being at Brafa, and, and because all these different aspects of, of dealing in art are, are present at that fair. It's a wonder, wonderful place to visit. You can see pieces of, of so many different origins uh, dif different fields of interest. It's a, it's a whole world. It's really exciting to see people coming from, from all over Europe, but we also have clients from outside Europe that, that make Brafa a stop.